Hey everyone, welcome to Wholesome Roots Farmstead. Today I'm going to teach you how to cheat. How to make the easiest guacamole ever. You guys may already know this secret trick, but it's my secret trick. Don't tell any of my friends or my family that this is how I usually make my guacamole. Today is the Super Bowl, and the Falcons, who have never won a Super Bowl game, are playing the Patriots, who have won five. Leaves me kind of conflicted, as you see. I'm from Massachusetts. I grew up in New England as a huge New England fan. And all of my friends and family from up there are huge fans, like, big time. With that being said, I moved to Georgia for the first time 17 years ago. And I moved away from Massachusetts when I was 17. So technically, I'm kind of like halfway between a... Falcons fan and a Patriots fan, so it's kind of hard. Don't know whether to wear this shirt or this shirt. Can y'all help me out with that? So we'll see. I would really like to see the Falcons win a Super Bowl. I just was not expecting it to be against the Patriots, and I kind of don't feel like they have a very good shot at it, unfortunately, because the Patriots are really good. Um, so it's going to be a good game either way, no matter who wins. So I hope you get to enjoy it with us and make some guacamole to think of us while you're watching the game. Okay, this is like my simple, simple treat of how to make guacamole. You get your avocados, you cut them open, you scoop the stuff out, you put it in a bowl, and you smash it with a fork. You're almost done. Then, the cheat is to just add one more ingredient, salsa. This is my homemade um, lacto-fermented salsa that I made over the summer that has just been getting better and better with age, and I love it. It is so good, and it's got everything in it, so I'll leave a link up above to the video for that, and you can make the salsa yourself, but obviously it won't be fermented by the time the Super Bowl happens because that's the night. So you just add whatever your favorite salsa is. Just add some of that, a couple of spoonfuls. That way you don't have to chop up onions. You don't have to chop up peppers. You don't have to chop up garlic. You don't have to chop up cilantro. You don't have to add anything else because it's already all in the salsa. Everything that you add to guacamole is in salsa. Perfect. Perfect cheat. I don't recommend the black bean and corn salsas in this recipe. I've done that before. It wasn't as great. <laughs> but any other salsa is, that's it. Once you have them all cut up, you just mash it with a fork until they're all mashed up. Super, super easy. You have your avocados all mashed up. You just add some salsa. It's just a little bit of salsa to the avocados and stir it in and taste it. And if you like more flavor from the salsa, add some more salsa. Once it's all finished with the salsa, you can add a little bit of sour cream or some lime juice if you want to make it a little extra special. But this is your quick, easy cheat for when you forgot what to make for game day and you need to hurry up and make something. All done. Now I hope you enjoy your guacamole and especially I hope you enjoy the game. If you enjoyed this recipe, please click like, comment down below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you.